Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to use the graph board template chooser in SPSS. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to use the graph board template chooser option in SPSS, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. What exactly is the graph board visualization? The graph board visualization are created by choosing a visualization template in the template chooser. Now, to use the graph board visualization, I will be, first of all, loading a data set into SPSS. How do I load a data set into SPSS? I can go to the file menu. Once I go to the file menu, you have an option which is called as recently used data. SPSS displays the 10 recently used files. I can go ahead and click on the very first option, namely employee data. Let me go ahead and select this particular option. As you can see here, the moment I click on this particular option, SPSS loads the data set. This data talks about employees working in a particular company. You have very useful variables like employee ID, gender of the employee, birth date, education level. Then you have job category, his salary details. You have beginning salary, job time, previous experience, and whether he belongs to the minority or not. One question that we would like to ask ourselves is, what is the sample size in this data? Let me go to the last record. You can see here it says 474. This means that we have a sample size of 474 records in this particular data set. Now, we have mixed data in this particular file. Some of these variables are scale while others are nominal variables. You can take a look at the variable gender it's clearly a nominal variable. The same goes with job category as well. You can create a variety of charts using this kind of data set. How do we access the graph board template chooser? To access the graph board template chooser, what you can do is click on the graphs menu. This is the graphs menu. The second option from the top is graph board template chooser. You can see here, this is the option that we need to click. Let me do this again. Graphs and graph board template chooser. Let me select this particular button. This will lead to a new dialog box, which is called as the graph board template chooser. In the box towards the left hand side, SPSS displays all the variables that are present in the data. From the top, the second option is gender. Let me go ahead and select this particular option, gender. The moment I select the variable gender, SPSS displays all the relevant charts that can be created using the variable gender. What's extremely important is SPSS is looking at the type of the variable. You can see here, there's an icon next to gender, which shows, which indicates that it's a nominal variable. So for a nominal variable, what SPSS says is, you can create a bar plot or a choropleth of counts plot. You also have the option of dot plot, or you can go ahead and create a histogram or a pie chart. What I'm gonna do is select a simple pie chart. Remember, this is what is called as the basic option or the basic details. Here, you can only select the chart and certain basic details. Under the summary option, the default statistic is count. You can click on the drop down menu. Here, count is the only option that is available to us. So let me go ahead with count and hit the OK button. This is the output window of SPSS. 
in the output window, SPSS creates a new graph. This particular graph is called as the pie chart. As you can clearly see here, the green slice represents the male category and the blue slice represents the female category. The green slice is slightly bigger as compared to the blue slice, indicating that there are more number of male employees in this organization as compared to the women employees. Now, if you want some more customization for your graph, what can be done? You can go back to the graphs menu, select the second option from the top, namely graph board template chooser. This will produce the graph board template chooser option. What you're seeing here would be the basic option. Next to it, you can choose the detailed option. By the way, these two are mutually exclusive option. If you choose basic, you can't choose detailed. And if you choose detailed, you can't opt for basic. You can see here the default preview that SPSS generates for a pie chart. I'd like to draw your attention to the visualization type. In the drop-down menu, SPSS gives you the different visualization type for the variable gender. Let me click on the drop-down menu. You can see here, there are a whole lot of options for this particular graph. You have a series of 2D plots, like 2D dot plot, 3D area, 3D bar, 3D density. You have a lot of options that you can choose from. What I'm gonna do now is create a 3D pie chart. Let me select the option 3D pie chart. Once I select the option 3D pie chart, you can see here to the right side. Under the category section, you can see the variable gender is selected. But you're getting a warning message under the value section. Now, for a 3D pie chart, it is not enough to select only the variable gender. We would have to select an additional variable. Let me click on the drop down menu. You have a list of scale variables here. I'll go ahead and select the variable salary. So we are going to create a 3D pie chart based on gender and current salary. What is the default statistic here? The default statistic here is sum. I'm going to go with the default option of sum. Towards the bottom half, you have options for panel and animation. As of now, I'm not going to specify any options here. I'm also going to go with none, the none option for panel down. Let me draw your attention to what is called as the options tab. Here you have the options tab and I have selected the options tab. In the right hand side, you have what is called as the style sheet. I would repeat this. You have what is called as a style sheet in the right hand side. Below the style sheet, you have a button which is called as the select button. Let me go ahead and click on the select button. This will open up a new dialog box, which is called as the select style sheet dialog box. At the top half, what you can see is you have different options for style sheet. Some of the options are blue moon. You can also choose carnival, graph board default, desert sun, or the gray style sheet. You can see here, SPSS would give you a preview for each of the style sheets. Let me now go ahead and select one of the options. I'm going to scroll down and choose an option which is called as high contrast. You can see here, this is the preview that you get when you select the high contrast option. Once you select the high contrast, you can hit the OK button and again, click on the OK button. Let me scroll down in the output window. 
as you can see here, you have a 3D pie chart with the high contrast option. So this is how you can create very, very interesting customization with the graph board template chooser. Let me now go ahead and explore a few other graphs. I'm going to click on the graphs option. The second option from the top is the graph board template chooser. I'm going to stick to this particular option. This will open up a new dialog box. I had selected gender and current salary. As you can see here, we had created a 3D pie chart. Right below the 3D pie chart, you have an option for the box plot. Let's go ahead and create a box plot and study the distribution of salary for the two categories of gender. I'm going to click on the detailed option which is present at the top left hand side corner. I'm going to retain some of the options. X axis will be gender. Y axis will show me the distribution of salary. Let me draw your attention to an interesting option which is called as panel down. I'm going to select the drop down menu. Here you have different categorical variables like gender, education level, you have employment category and minority classification. I've already used the variable gender along the X axis and therefore this time I'll select minority classification. Once you select the minority classification, you can go to the options tab. You're already familiar with the style sheet option. Let me click on the select button here. The earlier option that I had selected was the high contrast. Now, let me choose the option blue moon. So you can see here, this is the preview that I'm getting for the blue moon. You can also experiment with, let's say, carnival option. Let me click on OK and OK once again and scroll down. What you're seeing here in the output window is you're getting two different graphs. The first graph is relevant when the minority classification is no. In the y-axis, you have the distribution of salary from zero all the way up to 140,000. This first graph is relevant when an employee does not belong to the minority classification. When you look at the second graph below, this particular graph is relevant for minority classification equals yes. In the x-axis, we have consistently gender. So whether it is for the first graph or the second graph, the x-axis will be gender. The first box plot here represents the distribution of salary for the non-minority class, specifically for females. The second box plot represents the distribution of salary for males. So this is how you can create very exciting visualization with the help of graph board template chooser. Last but not the least, I'd like to show you the fifth graph for this video. I'm going to go to graphs, choose the second option from the top, which is called as graph board template chooser. Let me go ahead and select this particular option. In this particular option, earlier we had gender and current salary. What I'm going to do now is select two scale variables namely current salary and beginning salary. We are going to look at the distribution of current salary with respect to beginning salary. You can see here for two scale variables, you have different graphs. At least 13 different options are presented before you. You can construct a 3D density plot or a 3D histogram plot, area chart, 
bind scatter plot coordinates on the reference map hex bind scatter plot further down you have the line chart parallel chart path chart scatter plot matrix you have the scatter plot and ribbon chart i'm going to select a scatter plot for two scale variables this would be a good chart i can go to the detailed options here under the visualization section i'm going to choose scatter plot x axis would be beginning salary y axis would be current salary there is no problem with this in the optional aesthetics you have different parameters like color shape size transparency and data label these are only optional parameters there is no hard and fast rule that you have to select each and every option that is present here what i'm going to do is select the last option namely data label i'm going to click on the drop down menu and select gender here what this is going to give me is the distribution of current salary with respect to beginning salary and each and every data point will be labeled based on a person's gender like before i'm going to go ahead and select the options tab in the options tab you have the style sheet below style sheet you have the select button let me go ahead and click the select button so this is the select style sheet option you have different style sheets here i'm going to choose a very interesting option this time around which is called as desert sun this is the sample or the preview of the desert sun let me go ahead and click on okay and select okay once again this is the output window as you can see at the top spss has generated the output and here we can see a very very insightful and a very informative scatter plot as you can see here in the x axis we have the distribution of beginning salary and in the y axis we have the distribution of current salary the distribution of beginning salary starts from zero and ends with 80000 and the distribution of y axis starts from 0 and ends with 140000 what's really interesting is when you look at some of the values in the lower half of the graph this section represents a low beginning salary as well as a low current salary mostly it is dominated by the female employees here and there you may have a few cases of male employees but by and large when you look at the dominant category here you can see here there are a lot of labels for women employees what does this tell me this simply tells me that for low beginning salary as well as for low current salary mostly you see the representation of the female employees on the other hand when you look at the high beginning salary that is close to let's say 80000 similarly when you look at high current salary of greater than 100000 especially this section mostly you see a lot of males being shown which means that there are a lot of men who belong to the category wherein they have high beginning salary as well as high current salary equally on the other end of the spectrum you have a lot of women employees who have low current salary as well as low beginning salary this brings me to the end of this particular video in this video we have seen five different visualization type under the graph board template choose out we have seen how to create a simple pie chart we have also seen how to create a 3d pie chart further we have explored how to create a bar chart then we followed it up with a box plot and we have 
finally concluded this video by creating a scatter plot. I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.